only thing more popular to surgically remove from your body than a gallbladder is a baby or that baby's foreskin. Gallbladder surgery is done 1.2 million times a year. Really? That many? It is the fastest and most expensive way to get rid of gallstones and sometimes that's nice because they can be incredibly painful. But a gentle way of managing things might be better. Most gallstones are made out of cholesterol and things that cause cholesterol, particularly triglycerides to be high, can cause gallstones to form more easily. Women are also more likely than men to have gallstones because of estrogen. And of course having your gallbladder removed doesn't take away any of those causes, it just means you're not seeing and feeling some of the effects. But losing your gallbladder means you are 46% more likely to be diagnosed with IBS. Since IBS is a diagnosis of exclusion, that only means you have tummy problems and your doctor doesn't know or won't admit why, but we can infer that gallbladder surgery causes tummy problems. This is usually because your guts need bile, but it has to be in a Goldilocks zone. Too little, you can't break down anything you eat with fats. Too much and you will suffer from bile acid malabsorption, aka BAM, which is what you will say when you run to the bathroom with bile acid diarrhea, aka BAD. BAM BAD! BAM BAD! Thankfully this is usually not too hard to regulate and I'll show you the plants you can use to do it. Auclandia can regulate bile flow through the liver and bile ducts. Coit seeds can be incredibly protective against the effects of a high fat diet and crataegus, which is traditionally used to help digest greasy food, can protect your heart, liver, and gallbladder from excess dietary cholesterol. There are some circumstances where small stones or sludge can be passed naturally and without surgery, but that should only be done under the guidance of a professional. If they're too large to fit through the bile ducts, surgery can be necessary, but recovery afterwards should be easy with the right plants.